Yeah, what's going on back in the field with this track stars? Ryan Righteous, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. We got a special guest in the building, and I'm so excited. We got child like CC in the building. What's up? What's good, y'all? Back at it again. I know, I First know, time, right? First time, no kind of, but I'm, I'm happy to be in the building. Thanks for having Listen, me, y'all. <laughs> thank you so much for coming through. Um, told you in the hallway I'm a big fan. Yeah. Love the beat selections of your music. Um, yeah. You just do, you such, do such great work. I appreciate yeah. that, man. God is good. I'll yeah, man. God. Yeah. So tell us how you got started. How did all this happen for you? And you do the short, 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 short even short. shorter. <laughs> yeah, like shorter, shorter version. <laughs> all right. So, I, yeah, I can't. I'm gonna try my best. Okay, we good. Okay, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best style. Don't ask me about the dual die. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Mm-hmm. No longer hear uh, accent. No accent here because I moved when I was like four. So I've been in North Carolina most of my life. So I okay. claim North Carolina for the most part. Um, music. Been doing music since I can remember. Um, I would write short stories, poems, mm-hmm. make songs, stuff like that. It got to a point though where I couldn't quite. I would hate to like write songs down yeah. mm-hmm. and not remember how it sounded. I wouldn't remember the melody and stuff like that. So I started mm-hmm. to actually like memorize my raps. That's um, that Wayne culture. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Jay Z, like, Biggie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Biggie, yeah. So um, Brooklyn all day. Yeah, I heard it from them, and I was like, <laughs> if they can do it, I can do it. So that's most of like uh, even my music now, but. Um, just start to like memorize my raps, but even with that, I wouldn't share with too many people that I can make music because I wasn't like a fan of like people like being like, "Oh, you rap? Let me hear something." I'm like, "No," because I was shy <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that. But eventually, I'll say like senior year of high school, I did eventually start to share it, and that was even forced because my brother like set me up, like he took me somewhere with mm-hmm. him, knowing he was about to like ask them to have me rap. Mm-hmm. It was these people they were like, "We're starting a rap group," um, and he was like, "My sister can rap," so he brought me over there. And but for whatever reason, I did feel comfortable rapping. It was like a trap house, real ghetto situation. Had like a mic, mm-hmm. laptop, you know, interface, real cheap situation. <laughs> but we we did that, and that was like the start of me actually like rapping publicly. I guess mm. was this twenty twenty two? Because I heard an interview where you said you nah, started like doing it professionally. This was in like twenty twenty seventy sixty something. I don't know. No. Okay. To, uh, so this I was rapping like in the I was rapping like worldly stuff. Oh okay. like I said, I was in a trap house. I started to get real ghetto myself. So okay. it was like a real wow. I was doing like worldly stuff at this time. Okay. Um it wasn't like twenty nineteen is when I got saved. And when I got saved oh, praise God. I stopped. What was that moment? Like what was that sa- I got saved moment? Like what mm-hmm. was the moment that was like, Okay, I need a redemption I need Jesus? Man, yeah, I don't understand these questions but will take me a long time. But okay. I'm gonna try <laughs> to make it um quick. But Basically, it was it was a series of things. I was in a real toxic relationship, got out of that relationship, which actually caused me to focus on music more. Mm. And it's like God used that. It's like the first thing he stripped away from me after that was late relationship was my toxic relationship with mm-hmm. music as well. Mm. Um, so basically, I had like a encounter almost with God where he just basically revealed to me like, hey, the music you're making mm is completely glorifying the kingdom of darkness it's mm-hmm. against me so on and so forth long story short and that night after that night the next day i remember telling my brother like hey i think god telling me to stop making the music i was making and at this point i didn't even like have a real relationship with god or anything wow. Wow. like it was like wow he literally just met me where i was at and started convicting me of stuff that i never even considered a day in my life like when people talk about like hearing the voice of god i'd be like i definitely heard like it wasn't my thoughts it was like a conviction that i had never felt um but yeah pretty much after that day the next day i kind of still tried to continue my normal routine because i was a heavy weed smoker and stuff back then Mm. hopefully i can say that word on my back yeah yeah yeah. but (laughs) i was a smoker and stuff back then so like i um like that day, next day, I tried to like continue the same routine mm-hmm. and I was talking to my brother and I was like, hey, I think God is telling telling me to stop making the songs I'm making and to stop smoking. He's like, I right, just stopped in. And literally since that day, like that was like five years ago, like I never, wow. like 2019, never smoked again, never had like the desire. Wow. Like I lived Good. in a house still where everybody else was still smoking. Like mm-hmm. he still kept me for like that year where I still had to stay there. Like never had the desire. Wow completely left the music alone like my, he gave me like an unnatural appetite for him in general like mm-hmm. i i desired to read my bible i desired to go to church and listen y'all know people like preach 
take yeah. your time, preacher. Yeah. <laughs> like that was me, and I meant oh, it. Wow. Like I was like, I actually want to hear more. Like he, like he kind of just gave me like an un, just a random, but not random because nothing with God is random. But yeah. like an yeah. uncommon just desire and grace to where so much things that I was craving and doing, like immediately just stopped after that day, and it was like. I just begin to like just consume myself with him. So really from 2019 to 2022, I didn't like try to make Christian music. Like it was never a plan to say, oh, I'm about to start doing Christian rap. Yeah. It was just really me focusing on my relationship with God pretty much. Got you. And then so, got back into so it. So what, what made you put your music on TikTok? Like what was that transition like? Like was it... Cause you know, IG is popping. Yeah. Um, X is popping. All these other platforms, or Snapchat is popping. What made you say, "Hey, let me start really focusing on TikTok"? Well, I focus on everything. Like now, I even think then I kind of was, but the I was going extra hard on TikTok because that's where I was discovering people. Got you. Got you. So I was okay. like, I'm discovering all these. Mm. I didn't even know Christian rap was this deep oh, of really? a genre. Like oh, you heard, wow. like I heard Lecrae, I heard a Kanye West was doing. Yeah. Christian music at the time like yeah. I didn't like I started to discover all these people so I was like if I want people to discover me how else they gonna know I exist wow. outside of like my local community if yeah. I don't get online so like yeah. I had to yeah. I didn't even like to I didn't even want to make I hated the idea of like what I was one of those people like why do I have to make content <laughs> like, why do I have to do this but, but your content is fire though like you like you are one of those people like I, I, I feel like you and like Mike TZ or one of those people that like when y'all say stuff and y'all put in yeah, your thing like, but it came that was God too just giving me the appetite to actually like making content yeah wow. at first I didn't but now I love it oh wow okay yeah so so okay even after the TikTok how did you start meeting up with people like the Toya Loves of the world and like these other folks that you were like meeting with and like creating dope music with yeah, some stuff started online, like Toya, that's my sis, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She a real one for sure. Like her, I think Lecrae had gave us a shout out and I sent her the video. Yeah, to, nice. Like to show her. And then we started talking from there. She pulled up to like one of my uh, music shoots with Big Breeze. But most people, I reached out, um, no, like they would reach out to me to yeah. come out to events and stuff. Um, I think Breeze invited me to my first show right here in Atlanta. Nice. Nice. Side Night. So that was my first show. I met Lecrae, then I met different people from reach i met so many people at that show yeah and then from mm -hmm. there just different people like inviting me to different stuff like from that one show i built so many relationships uh, porsche yeah like uh, every everybody's really cool tz yeah. everyone yeah yeah, it's dope. yeah yeah that's good i mean atlanta that, that we have a culture the artists here have a culture of showing love yeah i mean 1k fuse birthday parties are just crazy every yeah. year our the artists come out perform it's just amazing so yeah you're right you, you're right here with family yeah, yeah, for sure. That's really cool. That's cool. So, I mean, I, I think the thing is like, like, what do you, what do you see for your career? And like, even like you being so, like, 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 almost on your, I would say like your John the Baptist, like, yo, I'm for the Lord. Like, mm -hmm. don't pray me with yeah, no yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, even I remember like you called out them young ladies that was running and stuff, yeah. and, and like, <laughs> <laughs> and they was in your comments like, what, what, what are you talking about? We love God too. And you was like, no, y'all don't. <laughs> I may have could have handled that better. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just your sternness. Like, that's yeah. that's good yeah, that's in this good. time. Because, I mean, like like yeah. I told you earlier, like, you and Karen, like, y'all, like, on that, like, yo, if you didn't about Jesus, like, what's yeah. up? Um, I forgot your question. What was the question? No, I, I guess the question is, like, do you feel like your career, you, you, do you feel like I have to be that stern in, in your it's career? It's really not me trying to be anything. Yeah. It's really just, like... I really be Holy Spirit led gotcha. in, in a yeah, sense, gotcha. and, but I do make sure I have to make sure check myself to make sure yes, just because I'm leading you to do this, it's still a level of tact you have mm -hmm. to have with yeah, it. Yeah. So I never, I don't ever even go into anything like being like I gotta be this way or even scared to say anything because I know if I'm saying it, yeah. Yeah. I already got approval to say it. Yeah, if that gotcha. makes sense. So yeah, that makes sense. It's not even me like trying to be a certain way, um, but I do. Like, even now, like, I never want people to feel like I'm, like, thinking I'm, like, holier than thou or something mm. like that or trying to mm. yeah. condemn them or anything like that. What's the relationship been like with the people that you say you had to leave behind, like, when you left the old life behind? Mm -hmm. What's that been like? Have they embraced you coming into this new light? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um you know, people funny, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They definitely, they see stuff and they're like, ah, oh, sis, I always knew you. 
you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it be stuff like that but uh yeah and people know it's real too because yeah, like that's dope they they seen where i was yeah. like they know they're like yeah. no she's for real yeah it's a good witnessing tool too yes for mm-hmm. sure so that's kind of what that's been like but uh i don't have like deep relationships with people i used to think yeah. I've, I've been saying this over and over but you'll be surprised like mm-hmm. when you do certain things if you remove certain things out your life, you'll realize how little people you really connect with on a deep level yeah. outside of the little toxic things you guys may have yeah, in common, if that makes good. sense. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you didn't sign no no bad deals with them dudes when, when you was in a trap? Oh, heck no. <laughs> sign no deals. They don't come back like, hey, we do Christian rap now too. What's up? <laughs> we ain't sign no deals. Okay. I wasn't signing no deals, no. Gotcha. We did have like a fake l- label yeah. that was like, I, I would say the name, but I ain't even finna give it no... No shine right that. now but it was it was even a toxic name have you wiped the internet of all that stuff yeah i did it's probably <laughs> something it could be something lingering like on blogs mm-hmm. and stuff but even like a blog that had posted me like even they their page got taken down or something too like oh. a big like a big blog they had to start over i ain't gonna say that name either gotcha. but it's a oh. really big blog i think i know but i, I, I was I like too. uh yeah, maybe the, the guy was probably looking out for me there too. Like, let's so, let's just delete it. But it's probably somewhere. I still have videos gotcha. somewhere, but gotcha. I, I could. But I'm and like, name, I don't want to promote it. The artist name was different, of course. Yes. Okay. Even that was like really toxic. Not, too. It was toxic <laughs> oh, in a okay. sense because what it was like. My name was centered around only living once, gotcha. which we know that's not even yeah. the case. Yeah. No. You know what my hope for you is? My hope for you is to be able to use this platform and whatever God gives you mm-hmm. to touch those artists that are in the mainstream Yeah, where you left that stuff behind and then you see the influence and the impact that like a SZA, a Sexy Red is having on young ladies and how if you ever get to that point, yeah. you know you will be the one that can minister to that. To yeah, them. that's really like the mission, like a part of like my even like mission statement is to just show the generation that you don't have to compromise yeah. or live a certain way to be successful. And people would be surprised, I mentioned this earlier too, the amount of people, like even like celebrities or well-known up-and-coming artists mm-hmm. that reach out to me just to say, oh, wow. like, nice. I love to see what you're doing or to say, I want to stop rapping. Like, like I want to like, I want to transition out of this, but I don't know how to. Do you have any advice? Oh, like like popping people popping or not like, popping popping? Okay. Who say that? Like gotcha. it, ha- popping popping people have like actually reached out just to say like I love what you're doing. But as far as like up and coming people gotcha, gotcha. that have yeah. some clout and stuff online, like hey, I kind of want to. I've been thinking about transitioning from what I'm doing, and I try to you know wow. minister to them and leave yeah. the door open for um, mm-hmm. conversation. But my thing is always I tell people like. Just focus on your relationship with God. Right. Like, I feel like if I would have got saved and then started rapping the next day, things would have been, like, totally different because I don't think my convictions... Like, I'm totally sold out for Jesus at this point. Like, you can't Mm -hmm. offer me... It's nothing you can do Mm -hmm. to get me to, like, change my mind at this point. But I think sometimes, like, when you jump ship too early... Yeah. It could be messy. So that always be my first piece of advice is like, just folk, don't even worry about making the music and stuff yet necessarily. Like just focus on growing your relationship with God yeah, and that'll come word, organically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That That's so sense. dope. Cause it, it, yeah. you're, you're so right. There's so many people that you've seen jump ship and then yeah. they jump back, back on the ship. <laughs> exactly. They jump right. Cause I even had that moment. Like I stopped Yeah. and then I was feeling so like sick. Sick, um, like I really love music so yeah. it's like I was almost missing the music oh, wow. and I didn't think that I could do like Christian rap so I was like well I'm gonna just try to like make clean songs and I remember going to this like while I was saved I went to the studio to try to like make a clean song and even that convicted me like oh, I wow. left the studio so I was like I can't even do this like this still don't feel like like trying to make a clean song Yeah. Um, but then I still had like two like years in between that to like actually like figure out like it's just just stop even trying to make music just focus on God so. yeah wow yeah. man that's amazing that's great amazing. story man great yeah. great, great story um, talk about um, the collaboration for uh, Stay Low oh man that was so awesome yeah and so, then the remix y'all got like yeah reinforcements with yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was crazy so the original version how did that start okay Reach had a camp yep. for their tape this time at that point I think Mike TZ had a show in Atlanta. They had a camp. I also had a show to do with TZ 
and I think me and Toya actually performed together at that show. Mm-hmm. So after that show, went to the stu- went to the camp. Toya and Reese had been there for a few days, like oh, working gotcha. on different songs. Dope. I had to leave like that next day, so I came in like I really did my verse and stuff like really fast. Like yeah. that happened in like yeah. an hour or something. I would say like between me waiting for them to finish the song, me meeting people and me recording my verse. Like I wasn't even at the studio that long. Mm. Um, but that was really that. Like I think Toya and Reese was more into the creative side of Watch like you. the Got hook you. and helping yeah, yeah, to make yeah. that stuff. But I just kind of came in and did my verse and left. I want to say Toya's verse was a little different at first. So was Reese. I don't remember. A little, maybe a word or two was different. Mm. Um, but yeah, then they hit me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> they hit me story. up. I heard this story over and <laughs> over to say to change my verse. So I Ooh. like changed the verse like three or four times, like yeah. over and over. Do you have your own studio or do you just have a ray of basic? I just setup, have a, a basic I have setup? the same mic at home gotcha. in a laptop. And I was using GarageBand, but I've matured to Logic. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm um, matured to, to Logic. One day I'm going to be in um, Pro Tools. But I, um, yeah, they kept making me redo my verse just for them to come back and say, we're just going to keep the first one. And I was like, dang. But that was a good experience, actually. Yeah. It really was. Like, Dope. I think stuff like that kind of helps grow you as an artist. Yeah. But that's how that came about. The vi- Then they were like, we're going to do a video shoot. Then yeah. they're like, we're going to make this the lead single for the, yeah. for the that's um, dope. thing. Like, that's dope. It was, uh, that's cool. Hey, my guy. All right, this, but yeah, it was like, it was a very great experience. And that was really early on for me. Mm-hmm. So I got like the full treatment, reach treated us great, had me in this fancy hotel. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, this is what rappers be like. A nice hotel. Did you think the meal per diem and all that? Y'all treated me good, I ain't gonna lie. It yeah. was nice. Did you yeah. think did you think the, the video and the song was gonna do go crazy like it did? No, I ain't gonna lie, and I'll say I said it to them too. I didn't even like the song like that. Oh, really? I, yeah. Say that. Yeah. yeah, I was like, huh, this it's all right. Like, I, I didn't really like the song. Now, the video, um, shout out to, I think Nehemiah shot the video and stuff. Yeah. Like, he was so intentional. Like, yeah. I knew that was going to come together great because he was so intentional about yeah. shooting the, um, the video. But at first, it was something about the song I didn't quite like. Um, but then, mm. I think as we started to, the video shoot is what made me start to like the song. Wow. wow. Like, okay. actually shooting the video. Mm-hmm. And even listening to it, because, again, I wasn't as involved in the yeah, yeah, creative yeah. process besides, like, doing my verse. So I felt like, what is this even about? Like, I was trying <laughs> to feel like it was stuff like that. So yeah. once I was in it, yeah. it got involved and put myself in. I was like, no, this slap, this going to go. But at, at first, I was like, I don't know. But I'm going to just do this verse because y'all asked me to. That's so, crazy. So yeah. yeah, that's crazy, man. I, I, I love the record. I love the record. I, think, I feel like the women been dominating oh, those yeah. summer playlists. You know, yeah. I think I think yeah. I think Wanda, Wanda, Anike and yeah. Portia started it off and then y'all was like continue the, the continuation of it. Yeah, that was dope for them to to do that. So yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the Cray pulled up to the shoot. That was dope for him to do. Yeah. I think even Andy was supposed to be there at first, but wow. something happened, but it was just a dope experience. And then the remix came together. I think I uh what's a uh, Jackie had put some on threads yeah. and she mm-hmm. was like um I be feeling like rapping, and but I don't have time or something. And then mm. I tell you, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. "Well, send me a just do a twelve and send me the rest." And then she sent me like eye emojis. And then Toya came with the layup and was like, <laughs> "Or just send us the um, we send you an open verse to stay low." And she said something. I forgot how she replied. But then Toya really was serious because she um, she text Ace. I think. Oh, uh, and he okay. reached out to her. Yeah, he sent. Uh, she sent a yeah. screenshot like, "Hey, they may be into. It. She may want to really do it." And then Ace and Cray and them reached out and the they kind of made it. Yeah, they that was so it dope. Happen. Yeah, that was yeah. exciting. Yeah. That was yeah. exciting. And then y'all did the video inside the reach, so that was really cool yeah. too. Yeah. Yep. We just met up and did that, so that was a great experience. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad y'all did both of those. Yeah. I'm glad shout out to the ladies, man. The ladies yeah. are yeah, representing. Yeah, shout out man. to the ladies. Y'all going crazy too. This is really dope. Yeah, yeah, they be sleeping. You know, got, <laughs> yeah. Who be sleeping? People, people be sleeping on. People be sleeping sometimes, but we really got. Cause I think the internet can make people like some people fall back in the shadows a little bit. But I'm mm-hmm. like, it's people like, like Kid Lee, for example, really. Oh yeah, she's a monster. Like, mm-hmm. In like crazy. Yeah. Um, too cool, Tiff too. Yeah, she dope too. Why? Why I want to forget people's name? And I'm seeing <laughs> Thailand, face. Thailand. Thailand. Thailand is yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Like I said, Portia. And 
It's a, a lot nice, of y'all that's like, crazy. I got like a playlist of just really? dope female Christian hip hop artists. Yeah, so but yeah, I'm proud of the females, but I'm I'm am just proud of the space too, just yeah. as a whole, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like I just I'm I glad like about that. Gate, like, is that yeah. a this is crazy to know it's yeah. so many like I could literally name like twenty five artists and not have to like struggle. Struggle yeah. or say <laughs> They're good for Christian rappers. Yeah, like I yeah. can really say no. These people are actually good because yeah. they're good. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. So I gotta go ahead and uh, just like give you your props, right? You've mm-hmm. been looking at this thing and and knowing that you know you. I was I was watching your uh, social media just grow mm-hmm. over time, and I'm like, wow, this is a lot to do as an independent. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, talk about that journey in that lane. Like, do you do you want to do more? Do you want to be signed? What's going on with that? Yeah, man. So basically as an independent artist yeah i i like to say this but i never want people to think i'm throwing shade okay i feel like it's levels to being independent you have a lot of people like oh i'm independent but it's like you not really independent bro like y'all like (laughs) y'all like fake independent like they're either fake independent or they're like they're independent as it relates to a, a relationship with the label but they have such a strong team around yeah, them okay, gotcha. it's like you you still have a label structure which is really smart it's nothing yeah. wrong with that um but i think it's levels to being independent i was like really independent like at home with my laptop mm-hmm. just like doing everything myself oh wow i eventually did get like a videographer so like shout out to donatello him and Portia actually got married. Shout out to both of y'all. Yeah, yeah. Just Congratulations y'all wedding. Congrats. But uh, eventually found like a shooter, like little small pieces. Mm-hmm. But I was like really independent trying to like steward and manage like all this growth, like real organic growth. Yeah. And figure out like, okay, what do I do next? Like, how do I direct this? Yeah. So um, I did get like a lot of opportunities that started to come my way, which I was really slow to kind of pursue mm-hmm. because of how I am. Uh, as it relates to just like my convictions is just like even like with like secular looks and stuff I was like I just don't want to be in a place where I feel like people are gonna try to like convince me that I need to be different yeah yeah as it relates to who I am in Christ in order to be successful if that makes sense Amen to that. so we had mm-hmm. like a lot I had like a lot of conversations um, and one conversation I had in particular it was a interesting conversation but it was kind of me like that was really the start of my conversations to mm. kind of see how that would go like listen this is who i am yeah mm-hmm. i'm not about to mm-hmm. do so like if y'all think this is that save your time i promise yeah save your time because that's not yeah. me so after having those conversations and like weeding some things out mm-hmm. i did decide to sign with capital christian music hey! Hey! Look, congratulations in it. yeah you know, we the first their first um, you know, female Christian rap act on the label. Yeah, Dope. I think if I'm not mistaken, any major label in general, wow. like no, no one has worked with mm-hmm. a like a female CHH artist in general, like yeah. major, major label wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, I I'm excited about it because that's dope. Yeah, like for one, I. I want to do a label, but I think I want to go possibly, we'll, we'll see. It could oh, end yeah, up being yeah, yeah. joint venture, yeah, yeah. independent label, something yeah. like that. But and that's something mm-hmm. I want to do in the future. Um, so just, I'm really hands on with everything as well. So mm-hmm. I'm, I already feel like I can start a label, like at this point. Like I've yeah. just been so hands on, like yeah. in everything. Like Oof. I understand yeah. like the different aspects and pieces, but at this point, and I'm still learning, but yeah. um, that's something I want to do. And I just want to, Again, being independent is great, and I know there's a lot of hype around yeah. it and stuff, but like I said, it's really levels to independent, and sometimes being like fully independent, like I was independent, mm-hmm. is just not wise mm-hmm. as it relates to gotcha. really being able to steward everything God is trying to like do in yeah. your life. So I do want to make it available like to the next person who may want to take a certain route mm-hmm. that that door can be open and that, that we can compete with some of the other yeah. major label people who have yeah. a major label system behind them. Yeah. So people, people needed to hear you say that. Yeah. And I'm glad you said it. Um, but talk to us now. There's about, we had a, we had a, a, a RSVP list of about 300 people that you were supposed to be bringing with you to this interview. So yeah. talk to us, what's going on. We got a bunch of people that's piling in the studio right now, next yes. door. It's getting louder and louder. So we know we, we know we got to let you go, but what's talk to us. What's going on? What yeah, are they here so for? we got a, 
we doing a listening party because we also got an EP coming. Hey. Yeah. Okay, coming. okay. It's called um, It's Time. It may be out by the time y'all hear this. I don't know, but yeah. um, it's called It's Time. It's five songs on there. We kept it real light because I am working on like a full project. Okay. Um, that I feel like is going to be legendary. Mm-hmm. But um, this just got five tracks on it. Um, okay. It's called It's Time. The first song on there is called It's Time. I got a special feature and stuff I ain't even going to talk about. Okay. <laughs> okay. But we got um, Somebody five in songs. the space or out the space? Uh, nah, they're in the space. Oh, okay. L- legend to okay. me. Okay. Um, but there you go. Five, like five songs on there. Um, no skips to me. Yes. Showing some diversity. Um, like you talked about my beats and stuff. I yes. do think at a point, because people heard me rapping on like a certain type of beat, that's the only beats people would also send me and stuff too. Oh, wow. And it was like... I didn't even realize it, but I'm like, you know, I'm kind of boxing myself. Like, people don't even, <laughs> like, it'd be different records. Like, people don't even consider me for it because yeah. they're like, oh, oh, she only do what's okay. name. It's like, no, All I right. can rap All on right. different type of stuff. So getting an opportunity to work with different producers as yeah. well, I think it's going to it's gonna really show growth in that area. Mm-hmm. Like, this ain't new. Like, people probably think it's new. Like, oh, CC rapping different. It's like, no, I could been rap like this. I just didn't yeah. have the production yeah. to do it. So gotcha. a lot of big production. Dumb. So Well, maintain that because I love those beats. Um, but yeah. tell tell everybody where they can find you on social media, how they can support you, where you're going to be next. What Child you Like on. CC everything. So okay. at Child Like CC, no Child Like CC one, two, or three people be trying to pose <laughs> yeah, to be right. me. Yeah. It's just at Child Like CC. I'm pretty active on TikTok, Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram, YouTube for the most part, but I'm on Twitter and other platforms. Uh yeah, and I forgot. Oh yeah, and uh, I think where well, I'm gonna be next. I think be in Tampa or New York or okay. back to back or something like that. But yeah, I've been traveling a lot. Well, listen, we are super excited for yeah. you and your journey. Thank God's you. favor yeah. is on your life. Thank it shows. You. I'm Lord so glad that you you came to the Lord when you did because yeah. He had this all laid up for you and and it's great that you're walking. I can't wait purpose. to the party, man. Let's, I know. Let's get I to know. The party. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was it, guys. You heard it. Yeah. See, see, she dropped that exclusive on us. Yeah. yeah. That exclusive. exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. So that's really dope. So hopefully we will we will see you again back in the studio. Come back anytime you want. You got a open seat at the track stars. For we sure. love to have you. Yeah, we gotta do it again because I know we're rushing y'all. It's people waiting on us. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come back. They're here to see you. All right. All right, you're in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Lego. Lego, bye. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.